We are out and about among the counties. We have employees from the Secretary of State's office who will be all across West Virginia. This is the same comprehensive plan that we had in place for the May 2010 primary and for the August special election primary, both of which were very successful. These representatives from the office have a variety of responsibilities too when they go out. We just had that meeting with, with folks from the Secretary of State's office who are going to be going out. Actually, some of them will be leaving today who have to go in the farther reaches of the state. But they will be on the scene answering any type of questions that may be taking place between, and, and they'll also act as a liaison between the precincts and the county clerks perhaps, and, and the precincts in the counties and the Secretary of State's office. And at the same time, what takes place here in the Secretary of State's office, we have our elections division, which moves from this area up to this area where more of the, the phones are ringing and, and um, uh, um, they're, they're at the center of all of the activity, the elections division is, because they take the phone calls from those Secretary of State representatives, from the public, from local election officials, and just general questions um, also. And at various times throughout the day, we will have conference calls with our representatives from, from uh, uh, around the state with the outreach staff if they can call in. Remember, some areas don't have um, very good cell service, and so they, they may be working with an issue or they may be um, um, not having good um, coverage. So it's a chance for those who are around the state to hear what type of situations that other folks might be um, encountering also. So this is the nuts and bolts that I'm talking about that take place on election day. And it's something that people sometimes don't get to see, except perhaps maybe for the media who is here on election day. And unless you're here on election day, you really don't get to see some of the nuts and bolts that do take place um, here in the Secretary of State's office. But that is why for the first time, we will have um, public insight to it because we are gonna have a live webcast. We're gonna continue with our webcast um, here on election day. We are conducting live webcasts throughout the day here at the office and it's going to start bright and early in the morning at six o'clock in the morning because I'll be talking live with the media throughout the state and we'll have periodic updates as well. So we have TV stations all around the state that we'll be talking to in the morning along with uh, Maryland and Virginia as well when we go to those TV stations that cover that area. So we'll have uh, webcasts throughout the state and talking about the turnout, what kind of phone calls we received, and the general sense of how the election is running. Now this is all of what election administrators do, but there is a key to all of this election, and that is the voter. And they have rights and responsibilities. And first, what I would like the voters to know is that they do have voting rights. These are posted on every polling place around the state, and they have a chance to review them before they walk into the polling place. And we'll also have them posted on our website, too. And I just want to give you a few examples of, of what some of the voting rights are for the voters that if they are in line by 7.30 p.m. while the polls close at 7.30, if they're still in line, they have the opportunity to vote. They can request assistance in voting if needed. They can receive a new ballot if you make a mistake or change your mind before you cast your ballot. So that's one of the privileges of um, voting rights. You can request and receive a challenged or provisional ballot should you be denied the right to vote a regular ballot, ballot and then you can find out whether or not your vote was counted of course, that takes place during the canvassing period. You also have the right to skip an election if none of the candidates interest, interest you by election day and not be penalized by having your registration deleted. State law no longer requires you to vote in every election in order to stay registered. So those are some of the, the voting rights that I'd like voters to look for if they want to look more at the precinct or on our website at wvsos.com. And I believe, if you believe that your voting rights have been violated, you need to call the Secretary of State's office, the county clerk's office, or your county prosecutor, or the U.S. attorney in the northern or southern districts. We have developed a strong working relationships with all of those entities to ensure fair, honest, and accessible elections. And I do not tolerate election law violations or election fraud, and I take very seriously those complaints that are filed within this office. 
So there also is a responsibility of the voters in these elections too. It's important for the voter to look out if they may see any type of violations that might be taking place. And it's obvious that they cannot commit election law violations either, but here are some of the things that they may want to look out for too. And of course, we'll have this on our website also. If um, you're in violation, if you attempt to vote more than once, if you are voting when disqualified, like not registered to vote, not a citizen of the United States or West Virginia, if you're underage or under conviction, if you're voting in a wrong precinct or county, misrepresenting your identity at a polling place, requesting assistance when not entitled to, providing unrequested assistance to voters, marking or voting someone else's ballot, selling votes, buying votes, recording or photographing your vote, electioneering at a polling place within 300 feet. If anyone sees any of anybody else or another voter committing those violations, they need to contact the Secretary of State's office, their county clerk, their county prosecutor, or the U.S. attorney in the northern or southern districts of West Virginia. And that will be posted on our website to these different um, possible violations. In addition to what we do, we need the eyes and the ears of the voters to be out there too. We have our folks out there. If anybody has any questions or concerns or they see any of this taking place, call the Secretary of State's office toll free 1-866-767-8683. So this is what we have. We have our outreach people out and about. We will have uh, our election division here. We have our voters to know their rights and responsibilities. We'll have live webcasts from our office so you can see what is taking place and the democracy that takes place here. I appreciate all of you being here and being part of our foundation for our democracy, which is our election and voting process.